One of the he- many headlines is learn work skills or face benefits cut, which is a little bit harsh when you read beneath the, beneath, uh, the, the headline. Uh, benefit claimants will be required to spend a fortnight on an intensive programme designed to get them back into work or risk losing universal credit payments under the government's plans to reduce employment. Now, um, they, they'll want them to face a, a daily uh, program of face to face appointments at local job centres. I don't know where they're going to get the job centre staff because that's been a problem in the, the past, but still, let's just gloss over that. Um, those who repeatedly refuse to attend. I wonder what happens if there's not enough staff so they can't attend. Anyway, I'm 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 just looking at realities. That's not what politics is about, is it? Uh, it's already been piloted in four areas, and Crawley's one of those areas. I know that area because my parents used to live there. Uh, 1.2 million people plus are unemployed in the UK. A, far, a further nine million are neither in a job or looking for one. Uh, the government believes that this scheme could form part of a carrot and stick uh, effort to get people to return to work. So Crawley's one area it's been used, Pontefract in West Yorkshire, Partick in Glasgow and Colville in Leicestershire. Um, And what they're talking about is state and ministers are looking at uh, job coaches, I wonder where they are, in GP surgeries. I'm sorry. Sometimes you just wonder where maybe it worked in Crawley. Um, but I thought we should have a quick look into that. Joining me now is Joseph Cotri Monson, who's a defence lawyer at the national law firm Mary Monson Solicitors. Uh, Joseph, what are your thoughts on, on this, this carrot and stick uh, suggestion of getting people back to work? Well, good afternoon, Tricia. Uh, It's interesting, isn't it? We do have a national employment problem, and that's the Mm. background of this. But Tricia, who would have bet money five years ago that it's an excess of jobs, not a lack of jobs, that is Mm. now leading to these announcements by the government? We can go into the causes, labour shortage of Eastern European workers post Brexit, uh, you know, the, uh, the pandemic, people not coming back to work. But you've already touched upon... Uh, I think in your introduction there, uh, a a fundamental question that many people will have about whether this is demonising the poor. Does measures like this automatically start from the presumption, Tricia, that motivation is the issue? Yeah. Uh, Well, I I, I think that could well have been levelled quite easily at, at some of the more populist uh, versions of the Tory government and uh, Johnson and while it lasted Liz Truss. Uh, but I, I think that this is basically probably economic and the uh, the jobless are considered the, the easy target. But I think there's yeah. a genuine frustration and a worry that our economy will grind to a halt. You may know, Tricia, that uh, in the Syrian uh, civil war period, uh, when when there were many refugees, Germany opened them with uh, opened their gates because they are terrified about the same economic grinding to a halt because of their own aging working population. Mm-hmm. We have a, we have a similar problem with 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 with, with the workforce. The, the question, of course, and uh, you know, again, you've touched on it. How will this work in practice? I- Exactly, exactly. Because job centres and and these these coaches, where where are they from? I mean, I, I couldn't agree with you more. It feels like a little bit of a, 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 a targeting, a soft, you know, a soft option. That whole thing of the jobless, they're the reason. You know, when you Google, when you go on and Google about getting people back to work, I think the first 10 sites, and I know as a mental health ambassador and being involved for 30 is mental health issues you know but we don't people would go back to work if they could get counseling but you have to wait six months for counseling people would go back to work if they could have their operation their schedule operation but you have to wait six ten twelve months for that a lot of people are waiting for very bog standard boring mental health and physical health options to be sorted out before they go back to work 
Yeah, I, th I think you're absolutely right, Tricia. And bringing this down, the complexity of the unemployment problem in this country, yes, there are this small percentage of ingrained generational unemployed people for whom this will never work anyway. No, but the no. reality is that most people given a chance want to be occupied. One of the reasons people hate being in prison, for example, is not because just because of the lack of freedom. There's nothing to do. People yeah. people hated the lockdown, not just because they were imprisoned in their own homes, more luxuriously than at Her Majesty's pleasure. But <laughs> nevertheless, they were bored. They didn't have engagement. People want to be occupied. They want to be out and about. And simply saying that if we send them on this two week course, uh, and make sure that they attend. And if they don't attend this miraculous cause, which will solve the problem, then we're going to punish them and make them homeless, potentially increase mm -hmm. a, a, an already massive social problem, Tricia. That is a scandal in this country. Yes. All in the context, as you point out, of public services that are are necessary for a well-functioning pop working population are at a disgraceful level and you know it's irrespective of what you think about our relationship with europe for example you go to germany you go to austria even france stuff works it used to be the case in this country that stuff works but it really doesn't people aren't in the job centers you phone hmrc you wait 25 minutes an hour on hold how are people even supposed to pay their taxes we've seen well, the well here's, here's the thing when you talk about people getting back to work hmrc itself is hugely uh, you know needs loads and loads of people to work for them i look at what they're suggesting now uh, how many people are going to come from those having job coaches to go to organizations like hmrc which if you don't collect taxes you don't have the infrastructure to fund everything else and what have you it 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 is what saddens me is that as and you you said it before the picking of soft targets to uh solve or show you are solving a very complicated complex a uh, situation it, it's just boiling down to headlines uh thank you joseph it's been so good talking to you we must talk again i mean i'd love to have you review our our news headlines one one day as well uh re, you know learn work skills or else I'd be interested to see if that works. It might have worked in those. Well, we don't know. We've told it's been rolled out in these pilot areas, but uh, what are the actual re results? Aha. We don't know that, do we? Uh, Joseph Cotry-Monson, defence lawyer at the national law firm Mary Monson Solicitors.